Do you know the difference between Azazel and Azrael? These two names, shrouded in the cloaks of religion and mythology, often spark intrigue and mystery. Azazel and Azrael, while both having spiritual connotations, are distinctly different entities with their own unique roles and representations across various religious narratives. Let's start with Azazel. This name is frequently emphasized in Judaism and Christianity, often associated with a kind of demon or an angel of wickedness and transgression. In certain texts, Azazel is depicted as the leader of demons, or an angel cast beneath the earth for his sins. He's a figure that's been tied to notions of rebellion, scapegoating, and the embodiment of sin. On the other hand, we have Azrael, often referred to as the angel of death in several traditions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Azrael is perceived as a compassionate caretaker of souls as they transition into the afterlife. He's also the one responsible for the delicate task of separating souls from bodies at the time of death. Unlike Azazel, Azrael is often associated with gentleness and justice, a far cry from the rebellious and sinful nature of Azazel. Both Azazel and Azrael are entities deeply rooted in spirituality but their roles and concepts vary significantly across different religions and mythologies. The contrast between them is as stark as night and day. One is an outcast, a symbol of sin and rebellion, while the other is a gentle guide, a symbol of transition and justice. As we peel back more layers of these fascinating figures, we'll see that Azazel and Azrael are more than just names. They're the embodiments of complex concepts, and understanding them can offer us deeper insights into the spiritual narratives they hail from. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the origins, roles and differences of Azazel and Azrael. Let's begin with Azazel, a figure often associated with sin and transgression. The name Azazel has roots in various religions and mythologies, but it's most prominently emphasized in Judaism and Christianity. In the ancient Hebrew texts, Azazel is a puzzling figure, often interpreted as a scapegoat. The book of Leviticus describes a ritual where the high priest places the sins of the people onto a goat and sends it into the wilderness, effectively banishing the sins to Azazel. This has led some to view Azazel as a demon of the wilderness, a symbol of desolation and ruin. In Christianity, the story of Azazel takes a darker turn. Some Christian texts, including the apocryphal book of Enoch, portray Azazel as a fallen angel. According to these texts, Azazel was once one of the heavenly host, but he rebelled against God and was cast down to earth. Here, he taught mankind forbidden knowledge and led them into sin, for which he was bound and cast into a dark abyss. This portrayal paints Azazel as a figure of wickedness and sin, a leader of demons and a corrupter of the innocent. Whether viewed as a scapegoat bearing the weight of our sins or a fallen angel leading us into temptation, Azazel embodies transgression and rebellion against divine order. But it's not all doom and gloom. While Azazel is a figure associated with darkness, he also serves a purpose in religious narratives. He stands as a stark reminder of the consequences of straying from the path of righteousness, and his story warns us of the dangers of seeking forbidden knowledge and succumbing to temptation. That's Azazel for you, a figure shrouded in darkness and sin. But what about Azrael? Now let's turn our attention to Azrael, often called the Angel of Death. His name is a familiar one in the spiritual realms of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, where he's portrayed with an aura of respect and solemnity. In the ancient texts of these faiths, Azrael's origins are painted with strokes of mystery and reverence. He's not your typical angel, and his role is far from ordinary. As the angel of death, his task is daunting, yet indispensable. He is the one entrusted with guiding souls to the afterlife a journey that demands a guide who is patient, understanding, and above all, kind. Imagine a figure cloaked in tranquility, who comes not as a harbinger of doom, but as a gentle usher, helping souls transition from the physical realm to the spiritual. This is Azrael, a being who works not with a cold, indifferent hand, but with a touch of compassion and understanding. While his task may seem somber, it's important to remember that in the grand cycle of life and death, his role is one of transition, not termination. He removes souls from their mortal vessels at the time of death, yes, but he does so to escort them to their next phase of existence, to a realm beyond our comprehension. But Azrael is not just an angel of death, he's also an angel of justice. 
In many traditions, he is seen as a figure of fairness, ensuring every soul receives what it is due. He's not a punisher, but a balancer, maintaining the delicate equilibrium of life and death, reward and consequence. So, while his title may evoke fear or apprehension, Azrael's true nature is one of empathy and justice. He stands not as a symbol of the end, but as a beacon guiding souls towards their new beginning. Azrael, a figure of transition and justice, quite different from Azazel, isn't he? Now that we've explored both Azazel and Azrael individually, let's compare them. Azazel and Azrael are both intriguing figures, rooted in religious and mythological traditions, but they stand on opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to their roles and portrayals. Azazel, often emphasized in Judaism and Christianity, is generally seen as a kind of demon or an angel of wickedness and sin. In some texts, he is even considered the leader of demons or an angel cast beneath the earth due to his transgressions. His name conjures images of rebellion, darkness and transgression, a fallen angel who strayed from the path of righteousness. On the other hand, Azrael, known as the angel of death in some traditions of Judaism, Christianity and Islam, has a much different role and image. He is the angel who looks after souls as they pass on to the afterlife and also takes care of the removal of souls from bodies at the time of death. He is often associated with gentleness and fairness, a stark contrast to the image of Azazel. Azazel and Azrael also differ in terms of their associations within various religions and mythologies. While Azazel is primarily linked to Judaism and Christianity, Azrael spans across multiple religious traditions, including Judaism, Christianity and Islam, demonstrating a more universal presence. Furthermore, their characters embody different aspects of spiritual teachings. Azazel serves as a cautionary figure, representing the dangers of straying from the path of righteousness, while Azrael is a figure of transition and transformation, guiding souls from one life to the next. In essence, these two figures, while both deeply rooted in religious and mythological traditions, serve very different purposes. Azazel represents the dark side of spirituality, the consequences of disobedience and transgression, while Azrael symbolizes the inevitable transition of life to death, a process that is part of the natural order of things. Despite their spiritual connections, Azazel and Azrael serve very different purposes in the grand scheme of things. In today's journey, we've uncovered the intriguing differences between Azazel and Azrael. Let's take a moment to recap the main points of our exploration. Azazel, a name with roots in Judaism and Christianity, is often depicted as an entity associated with misdirection and sin. Some texts portray him as the leader of demons or a fallen angel cast beneath the earth for his transgressions. This figure, shrouded in mystery and misconceptions, often serves as a symbol of rebellion and deviation in religious narratives. On the other hand, we have Azrael, often referred to as the Angel of Death in various traditions of Judaism, Christianity and Islam. Unlike the controversial figure of Azazel, Azrael is often depicted with a sense of compassion and justice. He is believed to guide souls in their transition to the afterlife and is also the one responsible for separating souls from their bodies at the time of death. This role paints him in a benevolent light, a stark contrast to the darker image often associated with Azazel. In essence, while both Azazel and Azrael are connected to spirituality, they embody different aspects of it. Azazel, with his ties to rebellion and sin, represents the darker side of spiritual narratives. Azrael, with his role in the passage of souls, symbolizes the cycle of life and death and the hope for what lies beyond. In our exploration, we've seen how these two entities, despite existing in the same spiritual realm, play vastly different roles. They serve as reminders that within the realm of spirituality, there exists a broad spectrum of beings, each with their own unique roles and characteristics. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Azazel and Azrael. We hope that you've enjoyed delving into these fascinating figures as much as we have.